I have spent my life surrounded by strong women and their told and untold stories. When I was young, my mother related the story of how she'd ended up as a 12-year-old in Cape Town. This was so far away from her home in Edinburgh. My grandfather, a famous Scottish artist, and grandmother lived in Edinburgh, Scotland, with their two daughters. My mother remembers being suddenly sent off to live with her aunt in Belgium for six weeks. Before she left, her mother got out a map of the world, closed her eyes and decided that wherever the pin landed, they would go and live. My mother was too young, really, to question what was happening. A couple of years ago, before my mother died, at the age of 95, my grandfather's godson came to visit us from Edinburgh. He told us that my grandmother had actually caught her husband cheating on her a number of times, and that is why she left him. This was something that we did not know. My granny had never spoken about it. A favorite story told to me by my mother was that in 1938, she had become one of the first Cape Town women to join the South African army. She was posted to Kenya in East Africa as a transport driver, where she met my father one day. She was asked to transport an army major to a destination outside Nairobi. On the journey, the truck had a flat tire and my mother changed the wheel with her usual no-nonsense, no-fuss attitude. The army major, my future father, looked on with amazement. It was love and admiration at first sight. At the end of the war, they returned to Cape Town, married and settled down on a small farm in the picturesque seaside town of Komachi. Twelve years later, a devastating mountain fire completely razed the farm and they were left with nothing. Now that I'm a grandmother of a beautiful three-year-old granddaughter, I wonder what stories I'm going to tell her about her family. Will she be amused to hear that Granny met Grandpa when she was two years old? Grandpa will tell her he got tired of running. Will she be proud of her second name, Christina, which she inherited from her maternal great-grandmother, who died a couple of months before her birth? She already knows the Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospital well, as she accompanies me to various celebrations organised for the sick children in my role as chairperson of the Friends of the Children's Hospital Association. She has already assisted in a street collection at the tender age of three months. She was the crowd puller. She's already showing signs of becoming a good swimmer like her mother and uncle. What will she think about her granny's epic long-distance swims around the peninsula? Will she follow family traditions and enter the medical profession? Or will she go off in another direction and create her own stories to tell her grandchildren? Will she travel overseas and delve into her Scottish roots? What untold stories will she uncover? I hope that she will be the next link in our proud circle of strong women.